Hello everyone, welcome back. I got my lights on in the rear. Uh, I'll probably put the headlights on. I'll use the, uh, I'll use the, the bike light. I won't turn on the, uh, the very bright lights I have on the handlebar. Welcome back everybody. Happy New Year. Happy Nooner, Lunar New Year. All right. Uh, I got, all right. Oh, it's good to be on the bike again. Okay, looks like I got everything. Oh, man. Tightening my helmet here a little bit. All right. It's about uh, 60 degrees here. Or uh, lower, lower, upper 50s. Maybe reaching the, I don't, I don't know if it'll reach the 60s, but if it does, that's all right. I'm, I'm uh, warm already. I've had my, uh, I've had my uh, creatine, hot warm creatine with honey. Mix it with hot water in the Coreg machine. Woo! Well, it's been a while since I've ridden my my Red Rover, mainly because uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but there is. Uh, a pandemic going on in China. I'm wearing my winter clothes here. I got my winter gear on. I got my Magellan boots, frog tuck pants. I'm wearing just a mid layer, but I got the body armor on. It's doing a great job of uh, keeping me warm. I feel a little wind up here. I'm gonna zip up, zip this up a little bit. Not too much, I don't want it to choke me. Oh man, look at that exercise machine. What a shame. All right. It's been a while since I've written this. Oof. Oh, I see ant mounds already. Are the ants already coming back? Jeez. It is uh, almost end of January. Super Bowl Sunday is right around the corner. Oh, little ruts around here. Oh, you can see the leaves are still not, all the leaves have fallen off, or most of the leaves that have fallen off the tree here. Oh, I gotta slow down here. Just had to concentrate, didn't want to talk. All right, feels good. Uh, so, I don't know if you heard, but if you have, maybe uh, by the time I upload this video, I don't know how bad it's gonna get. I already made a video about the coronavirus in my drive-alongs. And, uh, I can tell you right now, the increase in cases, confirmed cases in the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus from China, Wuhan, the Wuhan coronavirus, is, well, I'm just gonna say 8,000 confirmed cases. So you got 8,000 confirmed cases, okay? 8,000 confirmed cases, 170 deaths, almost 200 deaths, most of it's in China, at the epicenter of Wuhan. Woo! Hi! And, uh, so far, five confirmed cases, confirmed, quote-unquote, confirmed cases in the U.S. But it's already been spreading outside of China, human to human. Man, I have a bad feeling about this one. about this one. 
I don't like it one bit. Anyways, I already uh, bought some masks, N95 filters, I bought four. That's all I'm gonna buy, I'm not gonna hoard them. I don't think this is a serious case of uh, a pandemic yet, but I'm watching it very closely. And, uh, you know, I have to say, uh, I'm concerned, like, like this kind of stuff, usually I, I don't really worry about it because I think, uh, I think uh, the world can handle it, right? But the way, the way this communist, China Communist Party, that government, the communist government of China, the way they're reacting to this whole thing, that's scary. All right. The whole country's on lockdown. Right now, as of today, I don't know what day it is. It'll be in the, uh, it'll be on the overlay, on the GPS overlay, the date. But as of today, all of China, all have all of China, in every province of China, has a confirmed case of the N Chrono 2019 virus. And so that's serious. That is that's serious for me. And already spreading outside of China. Confirmed human to human infection outside of China already, and it's growing. It's growing. Got two constables going somewhere. That usually means they're they're gonna go serve a, an arrest warrant. <laughs> That's what that tells me when I see two constables traveling together like that. Probably someone who's already uh. Potentially dangerous here. Anyways, maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's been a while since I've been riding on this trail. I'm gonna go through the uh, decomposed granite trail and head to the uh, clubhouse. I got hot chocolate with me. I got hot chocolate with me. I'm gonna go to the clubhouse. The reason why I'm all right, everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> I seem to have issues with my audio. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, you know, I was talking about the uh, the uh, NCOV 2019, the coronavirus from uh, China, Wuhan, China. So as you see me there, I'm basically riding my bike. Um, I'll try to... Uh, kind of just do a voiceover from here. I was probably talking about a lot of things and when I got to the clubhouse I realized I basically realized the audio wasn't working. But some of the things I was talking about was supply chain disruption as in products coming from China, products that are made in China that are exported all over the world whether it be parts or complete consumer goods is one of the early warning signs of uh, how things are getting worse or how bad they are. That'd be the first sign. So um, I was just trying to convey some preparedness. Um, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff I, I talked about while I was riding and unfortunately I uh, don't remember them. Uh, I think right here I'm talking about how, you know, the Trump impeachment was like high on the news and then uh, Kobe Bryant uh, died in a helicopter crash with his daughter and basically uh, seven, seven other people. So a total of nine people died and that kind of took over the headlines and that occurred during the weekend as the news broke out of this uh, NCOV coronavirus. Uh, the NCOV 2019 coronavirus. As I actually do this uh, voiceover, um, 
the total confirmed uh, case has reached almost 10,000 cases with a pending extra 20,000, I think. I think there's a pending or suspected 20,000 cases with uh, over 200 deaths. Most of it is in China. Um, in the U.S., there's a sixth case, and it was a human-to-human -human transfer, transmittance uh, infection, but it was from a husband to a spouse or a spouse to a husband or wife to husband, something like that. Um, but all over the world, there's actually cases popping up of this new coronavirus. And uh, all the airlines, even Russia, Russia just today, I was just reading it, uh, Russia had uh, their first confirmed case of the uh, NCOP 2019 coronavirus, uh, this, or the, the novel coronavirus. No one knows what, the, what to call it. They just gave it the N for novel corona. Now, for the beer, for the virus, the shape of the virus, and the year 2019. I think the first suspected case was um, sometime in mid-December or towards the end of December. So that's quite worrisome. Um, as I'm actually recording, doing this voiceover, it's uh, January 31st. It's Friday. It's actually... Uh, the weekend, Super Bowl weekend coming up here. I'm a little worried because the amount of cases are growing. And uh, when you get a large event with a lot of people, you know, um, and, and supposedly this coronavirus is asymptomatic. In other words, you could have the coronavirus and have no symptoms but you could be infecting other people while you're developing the symptoms. Uh, it seems to incubate from 2 to 14 days, average 10 days. So during those 10 days, on average, you're feeling okay. You could be infecting others. I suspect simply through breathing and exhaling because it's a respiratory infection in your, your lungs for the most part. That's how most people die through uh, basic pneumonia. Uh, just can't breathe. Their lungs are filling up with uh, fluid. As I'm riding the bike here, um, I'm probably talking about, I'm most likely talking about the uh, supply chain disruption. And that's going to be the first sign. And I'll give you an example, like a face mask those little dust masks with the uh, N95, uh, 90, N95 representing it blocks out or filters out 95% of the particulates in the air as you breathe through the uh, mask. On, um, uh, I don't know the, the, the date. Let me just go to the calendar. I'm going to go to the calendar real quick here. And, uh, okay, so... When I was hearing about the news, it was basically uh, January 24th, 25th, 26th is when it's, it's really started. I, I, I've started to really pay attention because at that time, a lot of videos came out of people in China waiting in lines or dropping. I won't say dropping dead, but they're, they're, they fainted from exhaustion. All these videos started coming out of from China. Also, people were uploading to YouTube from China about how bad the situation is. One person with a, a mask on talking about the situation. Another, and that, and now these are just alleged. Uh, no one can really confirm this because it's in China and China is on lockdown. Uh, but uh, there was a person, a guy, telling how bad the situation is. There was another video of a nurse talking about how bad the situation, all this was translated, of course. So uh, there's uh, no way of uh, actually knowing if any of this ever, ever really took place or not. So that's, that's kind of like an iffy. But Monday for me in America, here in Houston, Texas, on the 27th, 
I decided, okay, first I just kind of wanted to do the research over the weekend and I was doing more research. You know, I got more and more worried. I mean, this is not like SARS or MERS. Matter of fact, to this day, right, January 31st, the number of confirmed cases of infection surpassed SARS. And I'm talking about Monday from the 27th to Friday, January 31st of 2020, five days, we've gone from 1,400 cases to up to 10,000 cases of confirmed, like they've tested it, of the coronavirus. So that that's pretty serious uh, if you ask me, but, you know, who's asking? So one of the things I was talking about when I made this video, I think it was, uh, what what's the day show, uh, the 30th, so that was Thursday, uh, I was talking about the supply chain disruption, not food supply, but just, you know, products that are made in China. And again, one of them is masks, all right, filtered masks. Uh, I went to Harbor Freight on a Monday, 27th. They were on the shelves. Now, I didn't go to Home Home Depot or Lowe's or anything, but already on Amazon, they were already gone, like the cheap disposable ones. You know, you get for like a dollar, two dollars or stuff like that. Uh, today, I went to Harbor Freight again. Just got some more stuff. They had more freebies, a bucket and everything. I checked to see if they have any masks. They were gone. <laughs> the one with the N95 filtration. They still have the more expensive ones, like, for painting and all that stuff uh, that you can get. So like, they're like $14. So, uh, so you're already seeing an example of the supply chain disruption going on. And I think the next thing I talked about was food chain disruption. I don't think that's going to happen for a while, but if this quarantine continues and nobody's going back to work no you know the farmers aren't harvesting the crops and i'm not only talking about china but if this spreads and people are being quarantined and quarantine is a double-edged sword because obviously you want to prevent the spread of infection you need to quarantine but at the same time how long are you going to quarantine and uh, it could be 12 months or one year, one year, maybe one and a half years before in a, a vaccine, a safe vaccine is mass produced and available to the public. So what makes this dangerous is that this is a new virus and nobody has any immunity whatsoever. Now, I'm not saying people are going to die. People have been infected and then have come out of the hospital. But uh, the fact that this is a new virus and there's a chance that it could mutate or evolve to be a more efficient or even more deadly, that's typically what happens with these viruses. And you have to keep in mind, this is very similar to the flu virus. And the flu virus infects a lot of people every year and kills a lot of people every year as well. Uh, this seems to be just as just as infectious and perhaps just as deadly as the flu virus. Um, but again, it's a new virus, so nobody knows how this virus is going to react. So as far as the food chain supply, I think I was mentioning how if this continues and no one's going back to work, like the farmers aren't going back to work because they're all in quarantine. Um, and if it reaches Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, there won't be any trade of food. Usually when it's winter time, we're probably importing food from the Southern Hemisphere because it's their summertime or their, their harvest time over there. And then vice versa, when it's spring and summer and fall here, it's harvest time for certain produce and crops. And then in the Southern, he southern Hemisphere, it's uh, the opposite. They, are, they, got, they got nothing, right? Because it's the way plants work. But 
I'm assuming the food chain supply may get disrupted if this is a prolonged event. I don't think people are going to be quarantined for a year, but the fact that this infection can go around to the point where, yeah, you're going to be quarantined at different times of the year and different places, depending when they get infected or how bad it is. And not only that, this thing can go around the world a couple times, a couple times. Uh, you know, it may go around the world once, twice, as uh, places that haven't been infected yet eventually get infected. Then they respread the disease out, the virus out again. And who knows, during that time, it could mutate. And, you know, the estimated numbers are like in the millions. And uh, if unabated, unabated, uh, it could be in the hundreds of millions of people getting infected. Hundreds of millions of people getting infected. I'm not saying you're going to die. I'm just going to say there's, you're going to get infected. But if you look at the flu virus, it's the same or even more. So I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. Uh, at that time, I think there was only five confirmed cases in the U.S., uh, one Chicago, two in uh, California, and uh, one in Washington. Let me see, one, two, three, four... Uh, gosh, where was the oh, Arizona? I think there was one confirmed case in Arizona as well. So, uh, but now today it's six because the person in Chicago affected their spouse. And then that became the first human human transmission of the coronavirus in the U S so, but before that it was only five. And I said, you know what, let me ride my bike. It's cold today. It's kind of overcast but that's all right i'll ride my bike had my uh, bulletproof vest on kept me warm the bike really warmed me up that day so i figured you know let's just ride this bike before the world ends and i might even ride this bike a couple more times but after a while i probably will not go out as much uh, especially with the numbers of infectious corona confirmed cases going on. What makes it really scary is really the uh, incubation time. And during the incubation time, you can, you can be spreading uh, the virus around. So I wash my hands. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly saying, wash your hands, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. You know, <laughs> During this whole time, I'm trying to do a ride along on my rad power bikes. Although it's a 2018 model, but, uh, you know, and another thing is, again, back to the uh, supply chain. Uh, if no one's making, no one's going back to work, right? That also means no one's, like, making bicycles, right? No one's making the electric motor uh, juice bikes, juice, juice bike, right? Their new Scorpion. No one's, no one's making Scorpions while everyone's being quarantined, so you're... Your little Kickstarter that you paid for, well, it's going to be delayed a couple, most likely a couple months. Uh, matter of fact, people are are really scared. There, some people are like, you know, there's there's some panic or a sense of panic, in my opinion, that people are afraid to buy stuff from China because they think it might be infected. Uh, it's ridiculous. So by the time that shipment of products come to you, the virus is probably long dead, even if someone licked your bicycle, you know, uh, you know, someone, if someone was highly contagious with the coronavirus, licked your bicycle, licked your bicycle seat, by the time you get it, uh, the, the virus is dead. It's, you know, anyways, so, so that's another way that supply chain is going to be affected is because no one's, if you ordered a bike and I don't know how rad power bikes is going to deal with it. I mean, I think they already got shipments in, so I think they're good for at least two to three months of uh, bicycles but you know their next shipment in in time for a quote-unquote spring when a lot of people start purchasing bikes i don't know if they're going to have enough bikes to be honest with you uh, and i think a lot of people who did kickstarters juice bikes and whatever other company uh, they're going to have problems because it's like let's face it most of these bikes are made in china most electric bikes are made, made in china most regular bikes are made in china so you are going to have supply chain disruption nobody wants to 
receive anything or ship anything to China. Uh, the Chinese people are not going back to work right now. School has been suspended until March. Um, there's some places uh, that's not even in China. There's, there's some places that are suspending school in, in, until March. And another thing you probably want to watch out for is, you know, uh, school suspensions. But I, as, as I'm getting the news feed, I mean, it's just coming in every, every six hours. I'm getting a new confirmed case. I'm getting, you know, word that people are canceling air travel to China. People are rejecting people coming from China, whether they're U.S. citizens, European, Chinese, it doesn't matter. They are, uh, there was one, one report where uh, someone seemed to have or got a confirmation of a, during the flight, got coronavirus or was confirmed or suspicious the flight the whole everyone on that flight was sent back to china that's the report that i read so anyways uh I'm, i made it to the clubhouse i'll probably be going back there a couple more times and uh trying to enjoy my nice bike ride before the world ends you know how it is anyways if you like this type of video please like share comment uh like subscribe i'll try to post a video every day i'll try to ride my bike out there for those of you who for whatever reason can't ride a bike anyways bye bye